Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set default value to person or patient attribute. So let's first see uh, where the patient attributes are displayed in the BAMNI registration page. So this is BAMNI registration page. Clicking on create new will actually get me uh, to this particular page. So there are different sections where you can see patient attributes. One is other information and uh, it is configured to choose to show another section called additional patient information. Uh, so there's another video where you can understand how to actually segregate these patient attributes into different sections. And uh, we have another video where you can see how to add new patient attributes, how to hide or remove those particular attributes. So now right now I'm going to focus just on uh, giving a default value for these particular patient attributes. If you can see, uh, there is one default value set for land holding. Uh, so it is two. Every time you navigate to this page, so it will first display two as a default value. Um, so let's see where are these patient attributes seen in OpenMRS. So log into OpenMRS, click on administration at the top right and at the left side under person you can see manage person attribute types click on that here are the list of person attributes that are right now available in the system and land holding uh, the description land holding in acres this is what is displayed on the page and the name of the attribute is land holding so for this uh, uh, default value is already set uh, I'll show you how to unset and set a new uh, default value for a particular uh, person attribute. So let's first see how to change the uh, default value for this land holding. For this you have to change the configuration in BAMNI config files. Uh, open open the uh, machine, open the box, SSH into it. Switch to root user and then the location of configuration files for just the registration app is uh, www bamni underscore config open mrs apps registration cd is a command to actually change the directory to that particular folder and right now i am in registration uh, folder so this is the location for all the configuration files specific to registration app and open app.json vi is the editor I'm using to open this file app.json and here are our list of configurations here you can see a section config under which there's a section called patient information uh, where you can see a section with defaults which holds a, a attribute value or attribute name uh, which is similar to the OpenMRS attribute name and the value that you want to see as default. So if you remember correctly in the BAMNI registration page land holding is holding a default value as 2. We can change that value to actually uh, insert and then change the value to 10 and save the changes. Let's uh, see what we have changed. We have changed land holding default value from 2 to 10. In order to see these changes, go to go back to the registration page of Pamni. Uh, right now it is 2 that is displayed. But refresh the page. And if you see the default value is 10. So this will hold for all the users throughout Bamni throughout, uh, throughout the system. If you want to add a new uh, value, default value for any of the coded concepts like education details. Uh, this is a co uh, concept attribute and there are particular values uh, that are answers of a coded concept. So if you want to set a default value for a concept, you have to follow these steps. First check what is the attribute name for education details. So education details is here and the attribute name is education. Click on that to see which concept it is referring to. So 102 is a concept ID. Click on uh, dictionary, search for that particular concept and then you can see the answers that are configured here. 
So basically, if you want to set any of these values as a default value, first thing you have to do is go to the same configuration page that we have seen under defaults, add another entry, comma, uh, in single co in double quotes. So education is the attribute name. Make sure this attribute name matches that is present in OpenMRS. So let's recheck. Go back to OpenMRS. So education is the attribute name, and the value should be a concept fully specified name. So let's say I wanted to set fifth pass and below as a default value. Copy the fully specified name, and then add it under single quote. Sorry, double quotes. And click save. To see the changes reflected, refresh the page and you see education detail, details is defaulted to 5th pass and below. So to briefly uh, tell you what we have done, there is a section called config in app.json and there is a section under which called patient information. So under which there is another uh, field referring as defaults where you can configure a default value for a particular patient attribute. So I have chosen uh, education since this is a concept format. Uh, we have to give a fully specified name of the concept coded concept answer. So how did you figure that out? Go to OpenMRS, click on the person attribute and 102 is a concept ID. Search for the concept ID 102. So this is 102. And these are the values. So you can choose any of the value. So I've chosen to pass and below. Copy the fully specified name and then add it as a value here. So this is how you can choose to give a default value for any of the person attribute you would like to. Thank you for watching this video.